Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read for you coming from Cancer, a weekly horoscope from the 26th of March to the 31st of March 2017. Let's start with Sunday the 26th and I'm sad to say it's going to be a very difficult day for you, a very depressive morning and afternoon and a little bit of the early evening period. Past news, the people you know from the past, difficulties creating burdens, and also a very slow period, meaning that the good news you are waiting for doesn't come and delays will frustrate you and depress you. And depressive news of the love kind or the family kind can also be there. So rather than project yourself and attract this bad news, keep a low profile. Try not to stir it up and this way you will just flow with the tide. As the evening comes, Actually, the late afternoon and evening starts to improve for you. So as that period comes, you start to get good news. Two planets who want to help you move in. And they start to bring you little bits of good news that can add up to plenty. So in your career, better news. In your business, also better news. So be active because you will find solutions during the late afternoon, evening period and nightfall period where earlier of the day you could not find any solutions. So mix business and pleasure for the late evening, uh, for the evening or the night period. Go out with your colleagues, uh, go out with your business people, take uh, your romance partner out. And if you're looking for romance and if you try earlier part of the days, you don't get good answers or maybe uh, rejections. The later part of the day is better that you try your luck for romance as the evening and nightfall period comes. And take your marriage partner out. In the, in the evening and nightfall period so that there can be a bonding. Monday the 27th, another bad day. This time morning, noon and night, all the negative planets are roaming about throughout the day. So it starts with aggressive planets, creates fights, creates arguments and quarrels, harsh words, creates violence, so be careful. So don't go overboard, don't get into a fight, verbal fight, which may end up in a physical fight, yes. And uh, in your marriage and your romance areas, there can be severe differences, talk of separation, talk of things which, which you, you do not wish. And so it's better for you to take the soft approach because you can only control your own horoscope. You cannot control anybody else's horoscope. You cannot control the anger of the other person. So you control your own and tame down and you will find if you if you go easy the other party will also relax slowly but if you intimidate the other party will be provoked even more so take the soft approach and just flow with the tide be agreeable in all areas whether in career whether in business whether in romance whether in marriage for the morning afternoon periods the ev the as the evening moves in and nightfall moves in things don't improve now comes a planet that makes you very rebellious, makes you want to be different, makes you not agreeable and can make you a bit violent too. This is a planet that also brings inventiveness. So the ideas you get on the Monday the 27th may have problems. They may be too far ahead of their time. Okay. So the evening and nightfall session, watch out for trouble while socializing with anybody and watch out for accidents because you can be in a real foul mood with anger and you will drive very er erratically because this planet makes you rebelliousness which makes you behave very erratically not a good day at all for you keep a low profile tuesday the 28th start with plenty of ego planets not the best for you but you tend to become a perfectionist and not happy with anything very moody uh, not agreeable and um, very sarcastic as well. The planet of communication is attached and I feel that the words you use may not be liked by other people. So I want you to take the soft approach throughout the day, especially morning and afternoon sessions. Don't show arrogance, be approachable, be flexible. And this way you can improve Thursday for the morning, afternoon and early evening periods. As the late afternoon and evening and then nightfall comes in a business planet moves in 
it's also the business of communication, planet of communication, the planet of calculation, and so you will be in a mood to be very talkative, communicative, want to discuss business. But this is also the planet that makes you argumentative and quarrelsome. So don't allow that to happen. So do go and socialize, mix business and pleasure, be with your colleagues, be with your romance partner or marriage partner, but do not entertain or allow yourself to be argumentative or nor arrogant. Wednesday the 29th starts beautifully, at last a very good day. It brings plenty of good luck right from the morning, afternoon, evening, session even, early evening. And so you become lucky. So in career, go with your ideas, talk to your colleagues and talk to your bosses. Good news is coming your way. In, if you have a business, you will find that plenty of opportunities are coming your way. And you will see that plenty of people want to support you in whatever you want to do. So a really good start of the day for morning, afternoon and a bit of evening session. As the evening and nightfall comes, this, these good planets are still there, don't worry. But they are joined with the planet of ego, the planet who wants to show off the planet who makes you think that everything that glitters is gold. So you can be misled. You can fall to flattery. You can spend money which later you will feel is wasted. So be careful of the company you keep. It's not a bad day, but it tends to be a bit of a misleading day. But this planet also helps you to think big sometimes. Well, if you are entertaining your business people, no harm to project yourself with your ideas because this planet can make you very creative and very imaginative. And if you are having a career, do go out with your colleagues or your bosses and the marriage areas and romance partners. Go out and enjoy yourself. But remember, just um, um, don't let your arrogance get in the way. Let's go to Thursday the 30th which starts beautifully and it's going to end beautifully. Throughout the day, you have an alignment of planets that want to help you. So, in your career and business, good news can come on Thursday the 30th. You go to your office and you are full of ideas, your ideas are accepted, your bosses want to talk to you, your colleagues say, well, they want to be with you. And so, good news comes in. And be active, communicate, ask favours, chase for the contracts, chase for the contacts as well. In your marriage and romance areas, you also become very lucky. A good time to be bonding, so communicate whenever you can with your marriage partner. Talk about the possibilities of whatever good things you are planning. In your romance, you can either find a new romance if you want, morning and afternoon session, or if you have a romance partner, you will see that the bonding becomes pretty nice. Now, as the evening and nightfall comes, there are talks of travel because the planet of travel also has joined in. There are talks of inspiration, because the planet of inspiration is also there. So if you are working a bit late in career, you'll be very lucky and get inspired ideas and get good news. In business, if you are talking to business people in the evening or nighttime session, you also will be inspired and get some very good news. And in career, uh, in marriage or in romance areas, take your partner out to socialize. There's plenty of happiness and singing and dancing. I can see a wonderful evening for you. Okay. Friday the 31st turns the opposite way. See how a difference a day makes. And here I see that on Friday the 31st, the morning afternoon session turns very uncertain, very erratic. And what happens is you get rebellious. So you cannot allow that because you make the situation worse. And what happens is that unexpected problems keep cropping up. So you have to catch fires as they are erupting. So it becomes a very tough, unhappy uh, kind of a day in all areas of your life, in anywhere. So in career, watch out that unexpected bad news can come because you made mistakes unexpectedly. In business, watch out that an unexpected offer may come complicated with many uh, troublesome spots. Or that you meet somebody unexpectedly and that unexpected promises to you are not so dependable. Or that your ongoing business may, may start to attract unexpected problems. So be on your toes. And uh, 
if you are in business or in career, I want you to not expose yourself to difficulties. As the evening and nightfall comes, the situation doesn't improve. Well, you have got tired by now and you feel depressed and you feel frustrated and the news you are waiting for hasn't come or when it comes it's not so good and when it doesn't come you get frustrated. So patience is the key word throughout the day. You cannot push a bull away too fast. You have to work with the bull and when the bull energy becomes lower then you take charge but you are not going to take charge on Friday the 31st. So flow with the tide morning, noon, evening and night. And if you are socializing, choose your company carefully because somebody you have known from the past may upset you a lot. All right? Or problems from the past you may, may revisit you as the evening and the nightfall comes or even sometimes the whole day because these planets who take morning, afternoon, evening periods, they are there throughout the day. So you end the Friday 31st not well at all. I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50, 50 for a 90 minute consultation based on your full date of birth including your time of birth and then looking at your palms through Skype. And I will give you a lot of information and uh, for the next five or six years in detail in all areas of your life. So go to Facebook and follow me and communicate with me and we might be able to fix up a Skyping session between us. Until then, have a good week, try your best and good luck.